Hello, please, can we meet you? Yes, hi, my name is Anushaya Falabi, and uh, I'm originally from Hungary, and um, I have a blog called whitenagigo.com, uh, which is basically based on the fact that I'm married to a Nigerian man. <laughs> Tell us more about your marriage. Okay, so um, I've, um, I've relocated to England in uh, 2008. Nine and um, I met my um, future husband in 2011. Uh, we got married in 2012, and uh, so that was like seven years ago, as we are in 2019 right now. And uh, yeah, it's been good. We've got two children. You know, it's um, it's been very uh, adventurous, I would say, because there's a lot of things I've learned. Um, I became a completely different person since we kind of met and. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, people call it cultural clashes. I would just say, like, growing together, like, you know. Um, yeah, so it's been very interesting so far. <laughs> okay, um, can you tell us about the schools you went to? I mean, your academic backgrounds, generally. Right, okay. Um, well, I've, I've got a couple of degrees. So I've, um, I've finished um, um, my first degree in my home country, in Hungary. Mm. Um, I studied German and Dutch, which is quite interesting because after that I just, you know, decided to go to the UK. So, uh, you know, many people were like, you could have gone to German or Dutch speaking countries. But I, it just happened that I, I, I came to the UK and I needed to learn English from scratch, which a lot of people actually forget that uh, when I met my husband, my English wasn't even that great. So, um, um, so my, let's move on to my second um my second degree is actually, I've just finished it last year, um, and um, it was a business and management bachelor, which I managed to finish with first class. You know, so. Wow. <laughs> okay, um, what other things do you do apart from career now and um, basically your marriage, some other things that you do? There's a lot of things I do. I mean, apart from the fact that obviously I'm, I'm a wife, I'm a mother of two, and um, I started the uh, blog about White Niger Girl in 2012 and um, so I've you know since then I've, I've, I've written a lot of blog posts on that uh, site and also because uh, my husband is a filmmaker so we, we created a lot of beautiful videos um, which went on my YouTube channel um, called White Niger Girl, uh, official White Niger Girl and that's actually uh, currently has seven and a half thousand subscribers. So uh, apart from all these things, I, I also um, I, I like um, running, for example. I do that like pretty regularly, like almost every morning, well, at least four or five times a week. Um, go to the gym as well, you know, like running and going to the gym. And I also, I don't know if it's, to be honest, I like to believe that it's because of the influence of my husband, but I also am quite business-minded, so I always had some kind of little business on the side. So apart from uh, working full time, I'm currently actually buying and selling. I happen to sell little TVs, which is just, you know, it's like, it's not like I was looking for TVs. I just, the TVs kind of found me and, and you know, that's what I just got into. So in the past, uh, I don't know, like eight months, I, I, I sold approximately 50, 60 TVs. So it's, that's what I'm actually doing at the moment. I even started to uh, repair some of the TVs. <laughs> it's just something that it just, you know, um, kind of happened. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of things I do. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, thank you. Can you tell us about White Ninja Girl? Um, what brought about um, White Ninja Girl and um, what are you trying to achieve with um, White Ninja Girl? Yeah, so, um, well, White Ninja Girl kind of started in 2012 when we got married. And the reason is because um, before, when I met my husband, like when I met at that time, um, um, my you know future husband I, I actually started searching for information online you know just like out of interest I wanted to find uh, find out about the culture you know the Nigerian um, culture and habits and customs and everything just to have an idea about what really I'm getting into and <laughs> and what I found is that there was there was not really a lot of information about that and 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 I was I was surprised so I made sure when we actually um, um, you know, tied the knots together and we actually married, I made sure that, you know, uh, whitenagical.com uh, gives some kind of information to people like me, you know, like European ladies mainly, 
who would like to find out about the Nigerian culture. And there's a lot of things I've learned throughout this marriage and there's a lot of um, surprises, adventures and challenges and everything I've come across. And it's really it's all that is on that, on that side, so things that I, I found out and I didn't know about before. And um, I think it was useful because I'm actually receiving a lot of emails till date, uh, mainly from um, uh, European ladies. Um, ladies that just date with Nigerian or ladies that just met someone online and they even in different countries so you know it could be like an Igbo guy in in Nigeria and I don't know a Swedish lady in Sweden so you know um, these ladies a lot, they ask me a lot of questions like what do you think do you think he's serious which is a very difficult question it's hard to answer because obviously everyone is different and um, circumstances are different as well um, so, um, but at the same time, I really think that this is making an impact, and I kind of achieved uh, what I wanted, which is uh, information sharing. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you think it's a way to cut across the entertainment industry in Nigeria? Well, it could be really, because um, oh yeah. So there was a video actually that kind of I don't know if I could say got into the entertainment industry but basically when I went to Nigeria well, I've been, been there a few times now but um, when we were there once um, in 2015 um, I saw you know the ladies they're working so hard and not just ladies to be honest men as well they, they you know are selling in the streets a lot of the times they carried heavy things on their head with a massive basket like unbelievably you know they've, they've worked unbelievably hard and I just, out of interest, I just said to my husband, oh, I would like to try that. Like, I just want to see, I just want to be in their shoes. I just want to see what it is like to live life like this. And um, I only tried it, honestly, I only tried it for like, that was maximum like a half an hour, 40 minutes. So maybe even that I'm exaggerating, but basically I only tried it for a few minutes with one of my friends. And uh, I was, you know, hacking on the street with bottled water and pure water on my head is on YouTube. Um, it's got over a half a million views now and uh, basically we were just selling pure water and bottled water like shouting like pure water and all that <laughs> <laughs> and uh, even the police was uh, okay. police actually bought from me which was funny because I remember at the time um, I remember that um, when the police came on the street everyone was like running because um, they said it on TV on the radio as well it wasn't allowed to hack on the street they were like, quite strict about it but then all of a sudden, you know, this police appeared and bought from me and stuff. And I was like, OK, but that, that we caused a lot of attention. Um, I sold out really quickly. So, oh, wow. yeah, that was good. And I, I definitely need to kind of uh, perfect my um, my technique because I just it was so heavy. So I could actually really see how hard it is to do this every single day because it was very heavy, so when somebody actually wanted to buy, I was like, well, I can't take it off. <laughs> I don't know, I just like kind of, uh, you know, um, squatted, like, okay, just help me to take it off. I just didn't know. So it was, it was an experience. It was um, definitely one of the videos that kind of um, got, um, got attention and maybe you could say that, you know, um, I, I, you know, I got some attention in the entertainment industry as well after that um, People were saying people were saying that I could get into the film industry and things like that. So, um, you know, um, that could potentially uh, make me interesting interested in the entertainment industry because I always actually looked at um, you know the entertainers in Nigeria and then I I, I loved the music. You know, like um, there was a time when I was like really obsessed with Yami Aladi and I just listened to so many of her songs yeah. but I also really liked Tiva Savage as well and I followed her um, you know her personal life a little bit like you know she had a lot of troubles you know like last year I think it was um, you know like I, I really like her music even though my husband always say that you know what that means like you know <laughs> she's you know what she's thinking about you know it sounds you know it's quite catchy and i would like to say like, you know sugar sugar <laughs> but then we all know what she's singing about so um yeah and i remember saying to my friends that i love her hair like she has always the the most perfect hair and they're like you know she's wearing wigs but she's always so perfect and um you know like i like i like um male entertainers as well like you know whiskey 
um, he had the audio I like by isn't he? Yeah. Like that was like a big hit. Mm-hmm. And um, Olamide, he's gonna get married soon as well. I follow follow them all, you know, on Instagram, Instagram. a lot. Instagram. All right. Yeah. Okay. What other things did you see that made you hawk such to water in the video? Yeah, there were a lot of things that you know. Um, it kind of. Um, you made me made me feel made me appreciate life that we have here because I can see that some people have it a lot harder, like especially women there and and disabled people and and I remember my husband as well. He he met um, a boy, and um, he is he has um, he has an illness that affects his whole life as well. And I can see how different life is when the government don't have um, or, or they just don't give the opportunity to these people to have a better life and and they have it like really hard I, I've seen I've, I've seen women like really struggling and they have children to look after and and they work like incredibly long hours and um, to be honest one of the one of the main um, goal that we had or yeah like with the help of my husband like I had with the pure water video is just to kind of just to kind of raise awareness of um, you know unemployment as well in in Nigeria the reason why these ladies and and not just ladies men as well they need to do these hard work and incredibly long hours is because they don't have another option so a lot of the times that's just their only livelihood they either go and hack on the street or their family might not eat on that day so um yeah it was just you know it was just a bit a bit sad to see and even um children of you know the age of my children they were like running after the the car and you know incredibly dangerous situations when they were like, just you know begging for for money and things and these things should not happen in the 21st century which was quite sad to see and i was just hoping that with videos like this maybe people just um, you know just just pay attention to these issues a little bit more and um, in my own little way I just hope that maybe this can achieve some kind of change if it's possible to achieve change in that respect I know it's a long process so I didn't expect miracle all of a sudden after one video but it's just you know um, just to raise awareness really raise awareness of certain issues that I've seen Okay, um, you. At every question that I was asking you, I noticed that you were uh, always bringing your husband in, um, which means you must have a very lovely and understanding husband. So, could you tell us more about your husband? Yeah, to be honest, I did actually, um, and I need to be careful because he's behind the camera. <laughs> so, I need to be careful what I say. But to be fair, um, I think. When you get married, you actually don't realize uh, what journey you are actually in front of. So we become completely different people and I cannot deny the, the influence that he had on my life and the changes that have actually been uh, taken place in, in me and in my life because I'm, I'm, I've married him. And... Um, yeah, like uh, even the fact that I'm actually doing so many things, the fact that I'm so business minded, even I would go all the way and say, even the fact that I have completed my business and management degree is, is partly because of him, because of um, the fact that, you know, um, he, you know, Nigerians have like an incredible mindset, a mindset that I wish I could just have naturally, but it's something that I've kind of tried to, to learn this, um, this eagerness to succeed. Um, the no matter of what they, I sometimes say um, Nigerians like go getters like no matter what challenges and situation there is they just go for it and they try to find the solution try to find a way to succeed and um, yeah so um, I, I, I cannot um, you know uh, stress it enough how much actually he's, he influenced me in, in the fact that I've, um, you know, I've studied business and management, the fact that I'm doing business on the side of my full-time job in property, by the way, is, is something that um, property is also something that he encouraged me to do. Um, eventually, I would like to get into that industry. Like, I'm already in it, but I'm more like in property management, but I would like to get into other side of property, the property industry as well. Um, maybe even in Nigeria, to be fair, it's, it's not um, something that I rule out. And um, 
Yeah, so that, that, the, that positive attitude that I actually saw in, not just in him, but in a lot of my friends, because I actually do have, well, most of my friends are Nigerian, to be wow. honest. It's, um, yeah, it's just, they just happen to be my best friend is Nigerian mm. as well. So, um, you know, it, they just have this uh, positive attitude, and I think partly it's because of where, like, you know, where Nigeria actually is and where, what, what is in Nigeria. A lot of the times... Things are not given, you need to fight for it, um, situation is harder than in other countries and people just need to kind of find a way and um, they need to keep positive and uh, you know these, these things influenced me indirectly. Okay, by him, yeah. okay um, I, I want to talk about politics now, I mean Nigeria politics, okay. Um, I don't know if your husband has interest to um, uh, go for any political position now or later in the future but um just um in case or let's assume he wants to fight for any of um, the political positions in nigeria um be it um the gubernatorial seat excuse me and um, um or presidency um what is the first thing as the wife of the president to change about nigeria to advise him to change about nigeria what I would encourage him to change is, well, it's a very interesting question because I think as a wife, my role would be like really just to support him. Like I actually always thought that whatever he wants to get into, I will not, um, I will not stand in front of him and say, and you should not do that. I will always encourage him whatever he wants to do as a start. And I think that's actually a really uh, good role to have as a, as a wife. but. What I would encourage him to, to change is I don't think it's for me to decide because I think just because my husband is into politics, that's not going to make me a politician. Um, you know, and apart from that, I think, yes, I am married to a Nigerian, but I, I am not Nigerian. I don't know too much about the politics and I don't have the right to, to, to tell him what to change. I mean, uh, obviously, there's a lot of things that you could you know people think that people would like to change in Nigeria but that's for them to decide and if my husband decides to change certain things I will you know back him up for that and I will support him in whatever he wants to do okay um all right um uh if there was anything like incarnation you know whereby you would have a, a, another opportunity to come back to this world um, would you go for your husband or for a Nigerian over and all over again? So if I if I could start all over again, all over would again. I yeah, to come back to this world, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, why not? I mean, as I said, I've learned a lot. Like okay. I've changed. I, I would always almost say that I became a completely different person, and I don't think I became a bad person. I think I became a, a better um, better of myself. Okay. So. Um, yeah, definitely. I've 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 learned a lot. So yes, I would do all over again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to know. Okay. Yeah. But then I know you went to Nigeria, mm -hmm. and um, you got back. Um, you got married to uh, a Yoruba husband, and so and I believe by now you should be able to understand a few of Yoruba words. Can you just tell us? <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, you know, I just know the basics, you know, like a caro and, um, you know, like they always say, like, shuakpa, uh, okay. you know, shealafiani, odaro, odabo, and okay. uh, I love when they actually have a phone conversation and they're like, ogao, abio, odaro, and odio. <laughs> it's like, okay, ami, 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 yeah, okay. I, all these things, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, and also I, I understand a lot of things as well, so, okay. you know, obviously we we raised two children so my husband would just say like or oh, jack bar and stuff oh, like that. okay um tell your viewers uh your social media handles because i know the whole lot of questions uh they have in mind to ask you and even though questions that i'm not able to ask you myself so if you can give them the opportunity to um, um ask you these questions yourself directly so by providing your social media handles your facebook your ig and what have you yeah, of course. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm on Facebook. I have my Facebook page called okay. White Niger Girl, and I'm also on YouTube as well, official White Niger Girl. 
Um, Instagram, I'm quite big on Instagram, post a lot of like family photos and okay. things like that, sometimes videos as well. And of course, if I release something on YouTube. So you can find me on Instagram as White Magic Girl and yeah, just drop me a comment or a direct message and I'm 